Summit, and this is part three of how to learn Magic the Gathering. And um, so we already finished our battle, if you've watched the other parts. And um, I am going to explain like some really cool things about some cards, okay? So first thing is, remember um, instants you can play them on, <clears throat> on like your other person's turn, and this one can kill a creature. Their instincts, and this is a sorcery. Sorceries are like stuff that like kind of like help you out and like just do stuff, and they're not instant, so you can only play on your turn. And those are pretty much like all those. So that those are the other things, and there's also artifacts, which are no colors. So so you can play with any color deck. They're artifacts. And then there's also creatures that are like the things that you attack with and block with. And now I'm going to show you some cards and like what abilities some cards have. And so the first one we have is Soul Bond. On Whenever a creature has a little hidden ability, it'll always be right here where the first word is. And this thing has soul bond. So say you placed it down, and then and you already had this one, so then you could soul bond them. And they would share the same life and stuff and the same attack. That's what soul bond does. And this has um this has unblockable. That means it can um like say I attacked it. No no no, sorry. Say I attacked it another person and they blocked then it would just go right through it because it's unblockable so it's pretty much invincible a little bit but not really invincible and then um we have a different ability it is defender so defender is kind of like a like a curse for creatures so um so, so this creature cannot attack it can only block that's what defender means and then we also have another hidden ability that is flying so that means it can so say i attacked something wants to block if it doesn't have flying then they it's basically just flying right over it and it wouldn't do anything and yes and there's more hidden abilities which is like this like first strike and now we have so and then they're just like some like little abilities that like that like some creatures have this one makes it so whenever i attack i get to draw a card and then this one makes it so if I, if I get if the opponent has 10 or more cards in the graveyard then it er, then it gets plus four plus four which makes it so it basically upgrades to a, to a five five creature so it can do five damage and then there are these really special powerful creatures that cost a lot of money and they're really powerful they are called mythic rares so each card has a rank there is just so you can see by the symbol the symbol doesn't matter at all it just shows the company that made the card but the color black is the lowest so this is like you can find everywhere and then silver is like an uncommon but it's pretty rare I guess and then there's also gold which I don't have a gold out let me just find one gold which is this gold is rare it's no gold is rare and then there's this that is a reddish goldish that's mythic rare so these are all like this so mythic rares are really good and they could not be also really good but it just means they're really rare and they can cost a lot of money the rarest card costs like six thousand dollars Anyway, so this Mythic Rare is called Jace, and the, it, he has three abilities that are really awesome. He's more of like a milling card. That means you, like, get their um, library to nothing. And then, so what the, this is, is um, this is its life. It has four Earth lo loyalty counters. It has four loyalty counters. And if you wanted to attack it, so it's pretty much its life. And then, so 
And if I use this ability, it makes it so the opponent draws one card and pits it in the graveyard. Then, then I would get five lo loyalty counters. And this makes it so you get zero loyalty counters. But it makes you do something. And then this costs loyalty counters. It costs seven. And so these are really good. And they cost kind of a lot if it's a good one. And they're pretty good if you like want a deck like this. You, you, you probably shouldn't have too much, but yeah. And then there's also this it's a monstrosity monstrosities are awesome so this so if you cost a lot of mana then this thing can rank up to like a like a lot of damage but only for one turn and they're really awesome like that and that's pretty much what like all the hidden abilities and stuff is and maybe i'll make a part four of like how to build your own deck and that's it bye